Hey guys, welcome to the Tom Reefer Studio. No time wasting right to this guy. Mike's helping me with an anemone setup. I'm gonna pick up an anemone for my two clownfish. What is this gonna do? And this is what I'm picking up, guys. What do you call it, Mike? Arizona? Arizona sunset. Arizona sunset. For those of you who haven't seen Mike's place, new viewers, this is Mike's. I did a video on this 1600 gallon DIY, it's called. He's got frags. It's called Frags Galore, Parsippany, New Jersey. Give Mike a call, it's by appointment only. Check these clowns out. See, they've made a home in that leather. Back in the studio, guys, and I'm acclimating the Arizona Sunset Anemone. I'm gonna try to get it to hook up with my two clownfish. And it's really beautiful. I'll just show you up close now. It's got this really nice orange look. Now that's through the bag, so it's kind of hard to see. If you put in rubble, you can then put in the anemone, so the anemone will attach to the rubble, so that you, then you can move it. But also put the two clowns in there in a confined area, and that will help them to host the anemone. Cool. Yeah, that Most literature you'll read, guys, tells you not to put an anemone in a small tank, like under 30 gallons, because they sting. They move around the tank and they can sting corals. In my situation, I only have one coral in there, that digitata, that I would really be concerned about. And I'll keep an eye on it, whether it moves around or not, I'll have time to be able to either move my digitata out of the tank and into my larger tank or move the anemone itself. So the way I'm acclimating this is the water in, water out method. That's what I call it. First I temperature acclimate, it was in there 15 minutes. I use a small container like this. I fill it about halfway. Then I pour a little of the tank water in and use a different container and remove the same amount out about every 15 minutes or so. And I do that about three times. So I've done that already and I'm about ready to place the anemone in the tank. You wanna put it in a low flow area so it doesn't just blow around. If you want it in a specific area, turn your pumps off and your return pump so there's no flow and within 20 minutes or so it starts to attach enough so you can turn your pumps back on. Look what's going on down there. That peppermint shrimp is right on that anemone trying to get food out of it. You know, they can be a pain in the That's it, I'm not gonna deal with that. This thing is beautiful, guys. I'm a little concerned about that guy back there, but he shouldn't bother it. Hopefully it'll attach to that. And then the clowns, it's gonna take a while. My guess is maybe a month. Absolutely beautiful. When I saw it in there, I said, Mike, I gotta have that. These are quite expensive, but of course Mike gives me a little bit of a discount because I give him referrals and all that stuff. But man, this is really pretty. So it looks like it's already possibly attaching really quick. This has only been about 15 minutes since I dropped them in there. Hopefully that peppermint shrimp won't come back. This is not very big, guys. If you compare it to the shell, that's a Astria snail shell. Here's my finger. You know, right now it's about the size of my finger. It'll expand out quite a bit. When it was in Mike's, it was quite a bit bigger. It's just really pretty. All right. This is great to see. The clowns are already over in this corner, hovering right above this. And check this out, guys. You can see the foot is already connecting to that piece of shell from the hermit crab. 
So I'm going to give it a little more time. All right, so I have the return pump back on. And there's not much flow down here, which is nice. But, you know, when you first put new things in your tank, you never know what's going to happen. You really don't. Nobody can say exactly what's going to happen. You know, the peppermint shrimp came right over. So I'm going to get rid of him, hopefully overnight. This thing will work. I've used these before. They work pretty good. It's just that I have a video on this too. You just stick a bottle top, plastic bottle top in the bottom of another one. He climbs in from the one end to get the food and he can't go back out the hole he came in. So let's see what'll happen.